Country Jam is a four-day music festival held in rural Mesa County every year. In 2018, the Center of Excellence for Advanced Technology Aerial Firefighting assisted first responders at this festival with maintaining their situational awareness through use of the Team Awareness Kit, or TAC, app. TAC was originally developed by the Air Force to provide location tracking and situational awareness to soldiers and has been released for use by civilian public safety agencies. The COE assisted the Mesa County Sheriff's Office, Lower Valley Fire Department, Incident Dispatch Team, and other first responders with training on the TAC app and implementation of the app at the 2018 Country Jam. The app was deployed on a cache of Android smartphones with priority cell service provided by Verizon. I talk you into trouble, I'm your buddy. If you're buying, I drink doubles. Your wife thinks I'm a what have you guys mostly been using the app for? Well, the app has helped us been able to find a lot of the campgrounds. I really like how the numbers are sectioned on the campgrounds. Um, something that's new to us this year is having an integrated grid system that helps us identify a quadrant or an area within the venue. It definitely makes it easier, easier for us to access um, you know, patients through a crowd of people and get a better general idea of where that person is at um, in correlation to the, to the grid system. So that's been a huge help. We used it generally around the whole entire campground. Um, we've uh, evaluated the perimeter as far as what our best uh, routes of ingress and egress are, um, along with uh, you know keeping track of our guys and stuff throughout the campgrounds, especially at nighttime. When you have the low visibility, it's hard to see people. Uh, that's been a big help, being able to identify exactly where they're at and also help guide them to their destination as well. Awesome. Are there any specific calls where you can remember it helping you find a patient? Um, like you know, as far as specifically hearts, I think we've used it on just about every single call. Um, you know, we'll pull up, take a look at where it's at on the map, um, we'll take a look at our unit actually moving in, in time towards that particular area. Um, we're able to provide some guidance, so really, um, just about every single call. I can say that the area that we've utilized it probably the most is the venues with the vendors, because the vendors have multiple locations throughout the property. Having this application has, been, has made it easier for us to identify those vendors, what side they're on. Uh, this is an example, you might have a Jack's tent that has two separate vendors, however it's difficult to identify whether it's on the east side or the west side. The application has helped us both identify those. Awesome. That's been probably the biggest thing, is communication. Uh, it, it provides a different link of communication and other than the map that we don't have. It's hard to hear on our radios and stuff, but we can really see where our guys are at. So. 911 calls and alerts from private security staff were plotted by incident dispatchers and were shared with first responders in the field in real time using the Windows version of TAC. My name is Sarah Arts and I am the supervisor for the incident dispatch team that dispatches for all law and EMS agencies out of Grand Action, Colorado. And what's the system that you guys are using out here? We're using the WinTAC system and we are coordinated with our responders are using the ITAC or ATAC system on either their phones or the devices. And what is the what is the interaction between dispatch and the system? What, you, what have you guys been using it for? We've been using it as a basically a mobile AVL system. Um, it's been very helpful between dispatch and our responders to know exactly where they're at if they're calling for help and they don't know where they're at, or if they tell us but maybe they're at a slightly different location. Obviously, we're in the middle of the field here at Country Jam, so we don't have an intersecting street or those type of markers, so it's very helpful. The map, we're able to zoom in and out and be able to see exactly where we're at. The following weekend, the COE assisted the Telluride Marshal's Office, Telluride Fire Protection District, and other first responders with utilization of the TAC app at the Telluride Bluegrass Festival. This event provided the COE with an opportunity to test the app in a mountainous environment and gather additional data on the app's performance on congested data networks.
The COE will continue to support the development of TAC with the goal of advancing the platform to a state of readiness to support unplanned public safety incidents in Colorado, including wildland fires. The COE would like to thank PAR Government, Verizon, the Colorado Governor's Office of Information Technology, and the City of Grand Junction GIS Department for their assistance providing technical support. We would also like to thank the Mesa County Sheriff's Office, Lower Valley Fire Protection District, Colorado State Patrol, the Grand Junction Regional Communications Center Incident Dispatch Team at Country Jam, and at Telluride, the Telluride Marshal's Office, Telluride Fire Protection District, and Mountain Village Police Department for participating as first responders in our deployments.